whenever this happens, the first one is just a base for us. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's my, my first try, but of course, you know, Jiu Jitsu is not what I want to do, but it's what he's going to give it to me. So we're going to uh, work some like a uh, different situation that can happen, you know. So one more time, I'm here, you know, I'm going to start creating the space. So I'm going to start to push him away a little bit. My head goes between his leg and then I got to control his bottom leg. And one more time, I'm going to come back with my weight. So I'm going to make a pit stop right here. No rush, okay? I'm just going to wait for the best moment. So when I'm going to try to pass, once again, I'm going to extend my leg. I'm going to push his bottom leg all the way down. And now that's the most important thing. I'm just going to start to cut my knee, but it's not like a, a regular knee slice. What I'm going to do is just cut shin to shin. So that's the reason I have to extend and just watch. Look, that's what I'm looking for, right? When I do it, I'm going to extend my right arm and my elbow, my shoulder goes over his hip. I'm going to kill his hip, you know? Tenta movimentar isso, André. He's not able to move, all right? And then I'm going to start to walk. One, two. I cannot drop my knee on the ground. If I do it, I'm going to release the pressure and it's not good for me. So that, that's the reason. I have to take my, my knee off the ground, let this grip go, hold his neck as deep as I can. Now is the most important detail. I just gotta shift my hip. When I shift my hip, watch his face. I'm gonna apply the shoulder pressure, the cross face. And then I'm gonna start to walk toward his hip. I'm gonna pull his knee to me. And then I'm gonna stabilize and get the side control. I'm here, just follow me here. I just got right here. I'm gonna try the first one, you know. So I'm gonna try exactly the same. Create the space. Push his bottom leg all the way down. Shin to shin. Drop my shoulder up uh, over his hip. Just make sure I'm gonna kill his hip. Start to walk. One, two. That's what I'm looking for. But now he's gonna start to defend himself by bringing the knee toward his chest like this. Look at this. Now, if I just let this group go and try hold, I'm not able anymore because once again, he's just gonna make a shield and then he's gonna defend. Does it make sense for you guys? Mm -hmm. So, I just killed the bottom leg already. Now, what I have to do is just kill the top one. How I can do it? I'm gonna walk backward and then I'm gonna jump the top leg. So, one more time. I'm here. I'm gonna try the first one. One, two, I'm not able. So come back and then I'm gonna jump the stop leg. That's what I, what I want to do, okay? Here's the bottom leg, top leg, and now we're gonna make a pit stop right here. What I get here, I have two options at least. Actually, I have so many options, but we're gonna work on two. What I can do, let this grip go. Once again, hold as deep as I can. Now I'm gonna take my knee, my, my knee off the ground and then I'm gonna apply the shoulder flash like this and bring his leg towards me. Como tá sentindo aí? Right? Now I'm gonna circle my leg, walk toward his hip. Once again, I'm gonna pass. That's the first one. <coughs> Extend, cut my knee through. One, two. When Sandra tried to, to replace the guy, what I'm gonna do is just turn to the other side, you know? Most of the time, he's on his side, right? I'm gonna bring this hand and my chest goes against his back and my knee over his hip. At this point right here, if he just turns towards me, I'm gonna get the side control. But most of the time, he's gonna turn away. Vira pra lá, Sandrine. Work with my bottom hook, bring Sandra towards me, seat belt control, and then I'm gonna work with the top one. So what, what I'm gonna do now is a combination. That's the most important lesson in Jiu Jitsu. You know, the first one is, I need to understand Jiu Jitsu not what I want to do, is what they're gonna give to me. And the second one is, I need to have a combination. So, it's a like boxing. When I'm gonna fight boxing, if I just try jab, 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 my opponent knows what I want to do, and then it's easier for him to defend the jab. But if I try a you know, combination, one, two, three, one, two, three, you're gonna defend the first one, second one, third one, I'm 
gonna get there. Jiu Jitsu is the same thing. So I'm gonna try the first one, you know? I'm gonna induce him, I'm gonna make him believe that I wanna cut my knee through, that I wanna do the knee slice, but actually, I already know he's able to replace by bringing his bottom leg. What I'm gonna do is just jump to the other side. Does it make sense for you guys, combination? We're gonna modify, like control the top leg, and then I'm gonna use a fake position, you know, knee slice, you're gonna try to replace, Bicely. change, bottom hook, sit belt, and top hook. Right? One, two. Sandri, you need to understand Jiu Jitsu is action and reaction, all right? In the Jiu Jitsu sport, maybe it's the, I cannot say that's the, the, the biggest one in terms of like a human being instinct, but it's one of them, you know? So what I mean, in Jiu Jitsu, you know, it's not only Jiu Jitsu, but the, the, the instinct is, when I gonna start to push Sandrinho, Sandrinho wanna push in the back. When I wanna pull Sandrinho, Sandrinho just wanna pull me towards me. You know, that's the instinct. And Jiu Jitsu can use it, they stink all the time. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, I'm gonna show it for you guys once again. I'm gonna work by control, controlling his top leg. So I'm here, you know, I'm gonna control the collar, I'm gonna control the bent leg right here, right? And now, what I'm gonna do? When I'm gonna try to apply the pressure here, what Sanjay wants to do? Push me back. You know, that's what I mean, you know, about action reaction. I wanna apply the pressure. No, he's not comfortable in there, so he wants to push my way, you know? So, I know that, and when he's trying to push my way, I just gotta take advantage, and then what I'm gonna do is start to uh, extend my arm, just to drive his leg in that way. So, you wanna push me, okay, I'm gonna help him, but what I have to do is just surf my, my upper body to the side, you know? So I'm here, you wanna push me away, that's what I'm looking for, <coughs> and then come back, you know? So, one more time, I'm here, one, two, extend, come back. Now, for sure, he just wanna push me with his arm, just to avoid me to, to connect chest to chest. If I try to fight with him like this, I'm not able to, get my chest, connect my chest to chest, and he gotta come back with his leg, and he pull the bottom part next There we go. So what I have to do is, I'm gonna try first one, two, when I'm gonna try to push him, that's what I'm looking for. Look, one, two, right? I'm gonna try, come this way, he gonna avoid me, what I have to do, move my body to the other side. Does this make sense for you guys? So I'm here, one, two, three, four, and then my head goes to the ground. When I'm gonna get in this position right here, you know, of course, one more time, my goal is just get my leg free, I have to take my leg out, and then just wanna lock my leg, but I cannot fight against his leg. What I'm gonna do is just apply the pressure, so I'm here. Tenta travar o máximo que você puder, Sandri. Aí, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, just move my head like this. One, step. Two, step. Three, look. Just got my leg free already. Get to step, and then Agradeço muito que esse ano você voltou aqui na Itália de novo. Esse é o terceiro ano que o Michael está aqui e no ano que vem com certeza a gente vai combinar de novo outro seminário. Para mim é sempre um prazer te receber aqui, treinar e todo mundo está feliz que você está aqui. Muito obrigado. Gostaria de agradecer ao Sandrinho aqui. O Sandrinho foi o cara que me trouxe a primeira vez na Itália. E como ele falou, esse é o terceiro ano que eu venho aqui na academia dele. Toda vez que eu venho para a Europa, eu mando uma mensagem para ele e tento passar aqui. Porque né, fora o jiu-jitsu, a gente se tornou amigo também fora do tatame. Então a gente tem uma relação boa. Toda vez que eu venho aqui, ele me trata super bem. Não só eu, como minha esposa também. Ele trata a gente da melhor maneira possível. Então é o cara que, acima de tudo, eu venho aqui, né? Quando eu venho para cá, eu não falo que é trabalho, é férias. 
porque é muito prazeroso ficar do lado dele aqui. Então, Sandrinho, muito obrigado por tudo aí. Obrigado você. E eu te espero em São Paulo agora, hein? Claro, claro. <risos> Boa, Sandrinho. Boa. Obrigado.